Hey there again, so this is my next review of Bella Parker for the Pacific Coast Line by Robo High. As you can see, here's a quick shot of her against the other two um, Pacific Coast dolls I have, Harper and Phaedra. As you can see, they all are very unique in their individual styles. So let's get into this review. This is what Bella Parker came with. I didn't get mine in the box because it costs more to ship her from where she comes from in the box, but this is everything she came with. Okay, so let's start with the packet that comes with the stand and the extra legs. As you can see, it's an extra pair of legs and a nice pink stand. I feel this is a brighter stand than the first Bella came with, but still very nice. And then here are the glasses that she came with. As you can see, they are two-tone, half pink, half black circle lenses that say rainbow high, rainbow on the top and high on the bottom. Um, very reminiscent of the designer brand Chanel. And from there we have the bag she comes with, which is a canvas tote bag with an embroidery rainbow on it and the RH logo inside a circle, very reminiscent again of the brand Chanel. The bag has black pleather accents and black pleather-like handles with chain-like handles that are very reminiscent of the Chanel handbag chains, where they have the leather cord wrapped through the metal chain. As you can see, it's all functional. It's a very nice detailed piece. Why don't we now take a look at the spare pairs of legs and the stand that came with her. As you can see, it's a very nice hot pink stand. And we also have the pair of legs that she came with. Bella comes with flat feet in box and her spare pair of legs are high heeled feet. And here is just a closer look at those feet for you, the leg attachments and the code on the bottom. As you can see, very detailed sculpts as an always for Rainbow High. Okay, so let's take a look at Bella and what she comes with. We have a pair of shoes, a sarong, a swimming costume and a sun hat. Here is another look at her without the sarong on so you can get a full view of the swimming costume. We'll take a closer look at that shortly. And here is a look at her from the back, so you can see her hair. A little bit of travel hair, but she has travelled thousands of miles, so that's okay. And then there's a little bit of a look at the hat, which again, we'll take a closer look at shortly. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this sarong. It's a baby pink with the word rainbow written on it in white, with the rainbow high initials in a circle again. Very reminiscent of Chanel. Um, it's unfinished, but it doesn't need to be because of the type of fabric it is. Um, it's really cute, yeah, with a nice tie to the side, um, but you don't have to tie it, which is useful, it's Velcro. There's me showing you how it opens and closes. Okay, right, I think it's time we move on to the makeup and the doll's face up. Bella has rose pink lipstick with a partially open mouth. If we move in a little closer, we can see that she has white and pink eyeshadow with gold glitter on the centre of the lid. And as we can see, she has an arched eyebrow with an ombre effect, lighter to darker. Moving down, we can see her swimming costume, which is half pink, half black, with rainbow Paris printed on it with the RR in a circular logo, very reminiscent of Chanel. Also printed on it is a gold chain with an R dangling from it. If we then take a closer look at our hands, you can see that Bella is sporting a French tip manicure, which I will admit is very detailed. If we continue to move down, we can then see her flip-flop sandal-esque shoes, very Chanel, which again we'll take a closer look at shortly. Here's another quick view of what she's wearing. I thought, let's take a closer look at the swimming costume without the sarong. As you can see, the printed chain detail on the swimming costume, very reminiscent of Chanel chain strap handbags. Here is a closer look at that for you.
Now let's take a closer look at the straw hat. As I've stated, it's a straw hat with a black ribbon sewn on it with a bow and then embroidered onto the straw hat is rainbow high. This is something most girls were wearing all summer if you'd have looked at any Instagram photos. I think it even featured on The Real Housewives. And there was a little look at the back of the swimming costume for you. Let us now take a closer look at those shoes that she's wearing. As you can see, they are a sandal-like flip-flop with what looks to be a chain with a piece of what I would assume would be leather threaded through it, again, very reminiscent of the Chanel handbags, with a white sole with a rainbow printed all along the sides, as you can see in black font. Here is just a closer look at Bella with her flat feet off and a little look at her knee joints again the left and right knee joint as you can see again it's very easy to take the legs off as long as I feel you hold the knees as you're pulling the lower leg off you won't cause too much tension on the knee joints just a quick look at Bella now with her high-heeled feet on as you can see then she looks more like one of the original dolls from series one two and three um, here's a closer look at those high-heeled feet on her as normal, just the very detailed scoop that you expect from Rainbow High. Okay, so here's a look at Bella with all of her items on, and um, the sunglasses and holding the handbag. And as you can see, the design and the look is very reminiscent of the brand Chanel. Okay, so I thought I'd give us a quick look at the comparison between the new Bella and the Series 1 Bella. Um, as you can see, we've lost the shimmer off the face, which is fantastic. Wasn't a huge fan of that. Um, and as you can see, they are very, very, very similar. I think the original Bella has more of a purple to her lipstick and a bit more of a lighter makeup. But I think if you wanted to swap out your original Bella for one of these dolls, it would be a great substitute. Now a look at Bella wearing her shoes from her original release in series one. I think they work fantastic with the outfit. I mean, the pearls maybe not too much, but I do think they're a great addition. Okay, so I thought we'd have a little look at ways of using the swimming costume as a top and see if it could work with any of her looks. So I thought I'd put her with her original Chanel tweed suit inspired look from the first wave and I think it works really well. Here's a closer look at that. Okay, so now let's take a look at her town. It's pink, gold, black and white with the RR logo in the center saying rainbow in white on a pink background with the Chanel handbag chains going around the edge as a detailing, as you can see with the printing word rainbow on it as if it was on a necklace almost, but used as a pattern. It's really nice. Okay, yeah, and to end this, I think Bella's beautiful. She's like now my favourite Bella. Like the face is stunning. Um, I couldn't recommend someone to buying her more. Um, and yeah, here's so just a, another quick shot of her from a different angle. So you can see how beautiful she is. Have a nice day, evening, and I'll be back with another video soon, hopefully.